Hi, I'm Ray Grijalva, and this is The Joy of the Fate. In this video, we're talking about the balance between prayer and action, or piety versus charity, because as Christians, we often struggle with this. We have piety, that love of prayer and scripture, and then charity, that love of neighbor and action, and sometimes it's hard for us to find the right balance. It was great. Last week, I was talking to a priest about this very holy man, and he said something profound. He said, Ray, in between piety and charity is holiness. And I was blown away because we all know there's really pious people that are at church every Sunday and they know scripture really well, but no one in their family practices the faith anymore because they have no charity towards them. And then we have those that are only focused on charity and they're like, oh, there's no truth. Just, just help everyone, everything like that. In order for us to be the holy men and women God calls us to, we have to have both. And he went even further. He said, Ray, remember this. You have to always exhale after you inhale. And I was like, what do you mean? He said, Ray, you inhale through prayer, but you exhale that charity, that love of neighbor, that action. And he said, and what happens if you don't inhale or exhale? What if you don't pray? And what if you don't act? You pass out, right? And it's so true. It's like this engine, this perfect balance of prayer and action, prayer and love. They go hand in hand. And you just have to look at scripture to see that this is true. In Mark 9, 29, the apostles couldn't exercise the demon because they didn't have prayer as their foundation. They were solely focused on the action of it. And then you just have to look at history to see how true this is. I mean, look at Mother Teresa. Here this woman was serving the poorest of the poor. And how did she do it? By two hours of prayer with Jesus every morning. That equipped her to love like Jesus loved. That equipped her to do the amazing things that she did. Christ worked through her. And we must always remember that it's not us doing it. It's Christ working through us. Because apart from him, we can do nothing. So I hope this video encourages you to pray, not for the sake of praying, or to act for the sake of acting, but to allow your prayer to force you to share the truth with others, to love as Christ would, and that your actions may be fueled by prayer, so that it's not just you working, but Christ working through you. I hope you enjoy this video. Have a wonderful day, and God love you.